The iDoc is the most versatile controller Systems has released. iDoc controllers can integrate dock levelers, vehicle restraints, and other dock accessories, as well as door operators. An exciting new feature for the iDoc is its ability to integrate with LiftMaster Logic 5.0 commercial door operators. Logic 5.0 door operators incorporate a self-diagnostic feature built into the maintenance alert system LED. This LED communicates when routine maintenance is due and can troubleshoot some problems with the operator. When a Logic 5.0 operator is interfaced with an iDoc control system, the control system can display messages from the maintenance alert system on its interactive message display. This video will cover the field installation procedure for interfacing an iDoc controller with a Logic 5.0 operator. An interface kit is required for the iDoc controller to receive maintenance alert system messages from the Logic 5.0 door operator. Each kit includes an L5 module, cable ties, mounting bases, and lever nuts. Before installing the interface kit, you must verify the firmware version of your iDoc control system. This is found in the Diagnostics menu. To access the Diagnostics menu, we must go into the main menu and locate Settings. Under Settings, we want to scroll down to Program Access. Then we want to find Diagnostics, and then we want to view the controller info by pressing Enter. This will display the current firmware version running on the iDoc controller. The iDoc controller must be running firmware version 1.4.9 or later for Logic 5.0 integration. If the firmware version is 1.4.8 or earlier, an update is required. Always read and understand the owner's manual to become thoroughly familiar with the equipment and its controls before installing or operating the equipment. Be sure to place a safety barricade around the work area at dock level and ground level and follow all lockout tagout procedures to prevent unauthorized use of the equipment before the work is complete. If you are installing a Logic 5.0 integration kit and a firmware update was required, Follow the instructions included with the SD card for the upgrade kit. If your iDoc controller is running firmware 1.4.9 or later, you can skip this next section and move to the time listed below. With the power off and the control box open, we want to insert the SD card into the back of the red main board. The SD card slot is located in the upper left hand corner of the board on the back side. The micro SD card should be inserted so that the label is facing away from you and the pins are facing towards you. Press the card down slightly until you hear a click. While holding the up button on the control box, restore power to the panel. When the display indicates file found, you can let go of the up button and allow the system to update. It will automatically reset when the update is complete. When the update is complete, turn power off to the iDoc and then open the control box and remove the SD card. The SD card is removed by pushing down slightly until you hear a click. When the SD card is removed, close the control box and restore power to the panel. With the power restored to the panel, we can go back into the diagnostics menu and verify that we have the upgraded firmware installed in the iDoc. Again, go to menu, scroll down to settings, program access, diagnostics, and controller info.
After verifying the firmware, we can proceed to install the Logic 5.0 integration kit. The kit does not replace the conventional door operator control wiring. It simply communicates the MAS codes to the IDOC controller. If your IDOC has the optional overhead door control buttons, you will need to field wire those into the operator. Or you can field wire the standard control station that comes with your operator. Before installing the Logic 5.0 interface kit, be sure to follow all lockout tagout procedures and post a safety barricade around the work area. This will prevent an unauthorized user from operating the equipment before the service is complete. If your IDOC controller has an optional emergency stop and or guide light selector switch, be sure to reference the appropriate wiring diagram included in the interface kit installation instructions, as the module connections will change. This example installation features an IDOC controller that has the optional emergency stop, so we will reference the installation instructions for a unit that has the emergency stop and does not have the guide lights. With the power disconnected to the control box, we want to open the control box and locate the input terminals on the back of the main board. We also want to locate the terminals on the back of the emergency stop button, as the L5 module will wire into both of these components. The next step is to connect the L5 interface module according to the wiring diagram for the IDOC with an emergency stop. We want to connect the power, common, and signal wires to the back of the main card on the input terminals. The red outgoing wires from the module will connect to the maintenance alert system LED circuit. Since the emergency stop button is sourced from the 12 volt input, we want to connect our power wire for the L5 module to the back of the emergency stop button on the normally closed contact where wire 20 is landed. After the brown power wire is connected, we want to connect the blue wire to the zero volt terminal and our black wire to the input three terminal. The red outgoing wires from the L5 interface module can be connected in one of two ways. If you have an IDOC that has the optional overhead door control buttons, and thus you are not using the control buttons that came with the operator, you need to run field wiring from your control box to the Logic 5.0 operator. You will connect those two wires to the maintenance alert system according to the schematic that came with the operator. If you're using a system that doesn't have the overhead door buttons on the IDOC and you have the three button control station that has the maintenance alert system LED, you can connect your red wires directly to the LED inside this button. Be sure to reference the LiftMaster Logic 5.0 installation manual that is specific to your operator. Use this manual to verify your maintenance alert system wiring connections. The L5 interface kit includes two lever nuts that you can use to connect your red wires to either your Logic 5.0 operator or to the three button control station. When the wiring is complete, use the mounting bases and cable ties included in the kit to ensure that the finished wiring is neat and does not interfere with other control box components. If you're installing the L5 interface kit with a unit that has options like the emergency stop, I would recommend removing the zip ties from the mounting bases that already exist. You can connect your MAS wiring to those mounting bases for a nice clean fit. Otherwise use the mounting bases included with the kit and install your wires in a similar fashion. After power is restored to the IDOC controller, we want to verify that the Logic 5.0 maintenance alert system codes are being communicated with our IDOC. The easiest way to test this is to attempt to lower the door and create a photo eye obstruction. This should trigger a maintenance alert system code, reverse the door, and send that code to the IDOC controller. This code should be displayed as a text message on the interactive message display.
After attempting to close the door and creating a photo eye obstruction, we can see on our IDOC controller that a maintenance alert system code is active. It tells us that there is an obstruction while the door was attempting to close and that we need to remove the obstruction. Once the obstruction is removed, we can continue to close the door. But this proves that the maintenance alert system codes are being communicated with our IDOC controller. After confirming the IDOC is receiving maintenance alert system codes from the Logic 5.0 operator, our installation procedure is complete. For more information on maintenance alert system codes or maintenance programming, reference the Logic 5.0 installation manual. For assistance with the install or any other questions you may have, call the number below to speak with a technical service representative. We hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.